gotten better and better, particularly in the running game. Third and nine, the pressure. Nettles is brought down. That's Marcus Cushney doing a little dance after that loss of seven. Back in 2017, so they are hungry for a win in addition to winning the SWAC East title. That one picked off across the middle. Right there is Urshad Davis, that dude on defense for the Hornets. Field was an interception. As Urshad Davis appeared to have come up with it, but Jay, when we take a look at it again, looks like it clearly hits the ground first. Yeah, yeah. he's getting a little bit deep in the normal depth, so he's backing up for a pooch punt. And he does his Good job, job pinning them inside the 10 all the way down to the five yard line. Nettles back in the game. Finds this man across the middle. That's Booker. Things of that nature, offsides and holding things like that. On the carry is Gray. Gray slippery bounces to the outside. Look at Nettles trying to provide the block. Ezra Gray still on his feet. Just near across the 50-yard line. Ball field, not just in the classroom, although he's an academic All-American. He's pretty special in both places. That's great again, keeping his feet. Their footwork a little bit in the passing game, but when it comes to running, particularly off tackle, they do a good job. On the running backs right now, not a lot of room, but maybe just enough. Meadows calling his number right there, trying to dive into the end zone. They say he's just short. First and goal for Alabama State. Shakori Merritt stretches into the end zone. Motion from Hilaire. Looking outside, going across in the middle. And there's Zabrion Moore, Zabrion Moore. Yeah, they're going to bring the linebacker coming. Picked Beautiful. up in glass, calls his own number, and Jay, that's a little wrinkle that he's added to his game. Here's glass, rolling to his right, pass complete. Up the middle, keep churning, keep churning, and into the end zone. That's Gary Quarles for the seven yard touchdown. The blitz from Urshad Davis coming in hot and heavy and taken down by Ogletree. He's 215 pounds. That's defensive back size for some larger program. Scott delivering the pass. Scott keeping it himself. Scott picking up the first down and a little bit more. You see the seventh man coming in, man, on the line of scrimmage. We're going to force him to throw the football. If they run, it's going to be tough. Hard. Here's Scott taking a shot to the end zone. That's and you fly. see, that was an easy call. Everybody's one-on-one. -on -one. This is the run stop in defense. Scott with time. Gets him into the end zone. Collecting it was Jefferson. Nine-yard score for the Hornets. Wide receiver, he was definitely. Freddie Lester, Johnny Baldwin. Aquil Glass has a man wide open. It's Zabrion Moore. Moore. Get it out there in space. They fell for it. Nice play call from Alabama A&M, and they're trying to turn on the Jets right now with Quarles. You focus on the passing game, and here come the running backs. First down. Here's Glass. Glass with another great look. Nobody there and sliding out of bounds. He's fast. He's physical. Good hands. And putting his team in a good position. And so is Gary Quarles. No stopping him. That dude's tough, man. Closing out the half. You don't need to give Alabama A&M any type of momentum going into the locker room. Will Gray running along that right side. He's brought down. Okay. Hear a thud sound going to the locker room. And there is the block punt right there. So now giving the Bulldogs three seconds left on the clock. 46-yard attempt.
for Spencer Corey. Corey, does he have enough leg? And it goes through. You were holding your breath. So was Bulldog Nation. And this has been a COVID year. It's been a whole lot just thrown everybody's way. And in spite of that, they're still the number one ranked team in HBCU football in some polls, them along with Arkansas Pine Bluff. But they've got impressive victory, but the physical lead of the secondary for Alabama State. Yeah, he just brings a different type of energy to that defense. Second and 15, and forced to run a Creel Glass, not oh. sliding at all, taking Whoa. the contact, and more. But linebacker, yeah, I'm going to take a seat. <laughs> the handoff here, good hole on the right side. That's Quarles, and he steps out of bounds. Move. Yep. He can carry it. I mean, that's, well, that's the key. Can he move around with that weight? Yes, he can. Glass going to the outside, finds more. A 44-yard touchdown strike. Third and nine. Scott lets it go, but he was hit on the release. Been the ones that have these bookends that weigh 290, push people around but they never let that hinder them. You all always were leading the swack in defense. How do you keep that mindset day after day? Oh, uh, uh, man, they're putting up points. They're lighting, lighting up the scoreboard. So this kid definitely has an NFL future ahead of him. And just having a great in the bands. <laughs> you know, people always, you know, I hate that the bands are not there today, but just at all. On third He's down, completing the pass on the outside. First down, fake. There is Glass and into the end zone. That's that little dance they like to do at Alabama A&M. Xavier Moore with the catch. Football, 25, 25th in the country. We know they have not played their A game, right? But yet, they put 31 points on the board, and it's just the third quarter. And uh, how about Marcus Cushfield in Birmingham? Chance to go to the SWAC championship on the line. And finding his tight end, Anthony Howard. Howard still on his feet. COVID season in here in the spring. Complete to Ibrahim, Ibrahim. They decide to pass it where they've had success. And Hilaire with a three yard touchdown catch. And them really controlled things from the time they went into that locker room and got a big field goal to close out the half. We, we've already showed you the personality, and we saw the, the Ric Flair woo, and, and he, he starts winning these things on a regular basis like that. You're going to mess around, and uh, every year I kind of know who's going to win the Florida Classic. Right, the nation, <laughs> just, just, just get them, because you're bringing up old stuff. How about Florida? Yeah. When you lose a rivalry, you don't lose the game that day, then like three weeks later act like you didn't lose. So when you lose a rivalry, you lose it like nine years in a row. It, the series has been really close throughout the years. Yes. What's the series they split record? The, yeah, 41 40. Scott standing in, and on fourth down, it'll be a turnover. send the players back to their sidelines as Alabama A&M has reason to celebrate. Swack beware, there's a new big dog in the East. Alabama A&M winning the division title for the first time since 2010.